today we're going to run through the Ino kit. So firstly just a quick overview and then we'll take a bit of a deep dive into each of the different items in here. So firstly over here we've got our ATP meter. Then here we've got a, a pH and temp meter as well. We've got our slip tester unit and then a gloss meter. And then this little jug here, it's a clear jug for tipping out your dirty water to be able to see the colour of before and afters. And this is our ramp as part of the slip meter. So firstly, here we've got our pH and temp meter. This is ideal if there's a floor's been damaged, like a sealer on a floor's been damaged because of a chemical. You can then validate as to what the pH level is of the chemical and make sure it complies. So very simple, remove your cap off the bottom here, switch it on, change it to the pH setting, it will change to pH up here. I've just got a jug of water here, put this in, leave it there for about 20 seconds and give it time to calibrate and here we go, we've got 7.98 there on the pH and then it's also got the temperature down there, 21.2 degrees. So very simple unit, then just rinse that off once you've finished if you have been putting it on chemical and there we go. Next we've got the gloss meter, this is a great tool if you want to show the effectiveness of say twister pads or even just to, after you've polished a floor to be able to show the before and after readings. So to use it, very simple, leave the cover on on the base because it does a calibration check and there we go, it was successful. Then we can remove this cover. So here I'm going to just test these two surfaces, one I've got a shiny white box to simulate a gloss tile and then we'll check the gloss level of this matte finish table. So the higher the reading is, the higher the gloss level. We'll put it on here, just press the button on the side. So you've got that reading down the bottom there, 68.4. And there's the last reading, 15.5. For the matte finish. Very simple tool to use. That covers the gloss meter. Next we've got the Ino Slip Alert Slip Meter. This has been developed to complement the Pendulum Slip Meter so that virtually anyone can use this to test the floor and see how it would compare if it was tested with a proper certified Pendulum Slip Meter. So we should note it's not intended that this be used and relied upon as the sole means of testing in a legal case. However, it's great for an untrained operator, a facility manager, a contract cleaner, uh, to be able to pull out and, and check and monitor their floor slip ratings. It has been tested extensively alongside the pendulum method on a range of different floor types and was very on par with it. So now we'll run through how to use it. So firstly you set up your ramp as you can see like that, make sure it's a flat surface. Now that we're all set up and ready to go we'll just run through a couple of points on the slip meter itself. Firstly, on the back here you've got this little rubber base. This is to simulate the sole of a shoe and you want to make sure this is clean, there's no dirt and grime, just wipe it down. There's also some sandpaper in your kit. If there is some rough edges, you just need to sand off. But that's in good condition now. There's our charging port for the unit. Now all we need to do is switch it on. On the back here, there's a little button which resets when it hits this backstop. So we put our vehicle on the ramp, pull it right back. Then a blue light will come on. And we let the vehicle go. And when you come to pick up the vehicle, make sure you don't move it, otherwise it will, the wheels roll, it will change the values. So pick that up. There's our first reading of 115. You want to do this three or four times and just take the average to make sure it's accurate. So we'll do it again. Got another reading now of 116. Alright, so once you've got your readings, then you can see how it actually compares on this chart here. 
whether it's low risk or not. So we had a reading of 115, which is well and truly within this safe reading. As you can see, if it's over 130, there's medium risk, and then anything over 173 is high risk. So now that covers our slip meter. Here we've got the ATP meter. ATP stands for adenosine triphosphate. It's a swab testing unit. It's checking for any ATP, being adenosine triphosphate, which is a biochemical that exists in any organic matter. So when you've got the presence of organic matter, it is a food source for bacteria. It allows you to test for a level of cleanliness that you can't see with the naked eye, but very simple to use. Open your swab, pick out 10 centimetre by 10 centimetre section. Swab for a couple of seconds, make sure you get good coverage. Put it back in the holder. Break this little chamber, squeeze the solution down. Give it a good shake. Drop that in. Then hit OK. There we go, we've got our reading there. As you can see, it's extremely high. In a general cleaning environment, pass reading is under 50, and in food prep areas, it's normally under 30. So there we go, while this floor looks relatively clean, it's still extremely dirty. That's a good way to validate your cleaning results. That covers our ATP meter. So that concludes the I know kit overview. If you've got any further questions, please let me know.